Well, good morning from Ohio and Windy Hill Kennel. This is a really pretty morning. It's early morning. I think we're about uh, 8.30 in the morning. And it's going to be a busy day around here. We've got puppy pickups that start today. So we thought we'd get out here early, get Laramie's kids done. And we have, I'm going to give you, we've got one change that you're going to see on the website. Unfortunately, uh, puppy number 2178, which is the party Wheaton female, she is um, being put back on the website as for sale. She was the pick of the litter that was sold first, and the um, family had had a extremely urgent health care issue out of state with their uh, daughter and either daughter and son-in-law or son-in-law and son and daughter-in-law get that backwards anyway uh which took them going out of state to help with the family so uh they were not able to take her so we are putting her back on the internet today so by the time you've seen the movie you'll see that she's back on um so what i'm going to do this morning i'm going to give you microchip numbers i'm going to give you the microchip numbers of them as we go and i'll tell you if that puppy is sold or still available Vanessa did all these this morning so we could get out here early and get this done. Um, so today is the 28th. It's a Friday. Thank goodness. So anxious for the weekend. Got a lot of lawn mowing to do today, and but that's okay. We'll get it done. Before it gets too hot, I hope. I think we're supposed to be 88 today. So this is a nice, cool morning. The pups are really glad to get out here and run believe me they needed to get out here and run so they're probably going to stay outside most of the day today and until they wear off this energy so we're going to get started um they're going to be uh they were eight weeks old on the 25th so they are ready to go home and oop, that hurt fell right <laughs> jumped right out on her mouth and cracked her jaw that hurt so there's a blue Merle out here with a neon green collar. It's a male and it is sold. It is uh, microchip number 2176. And today he weighs four pounds, 9.6. He's the guy that is, let me see if I can show you. Oh, with those three Merles almost alike, it's tough. Okay, he's the guy that is right there with, with big black ear. He's the one on the right in that pile. Now, he's the one closest right there. Oh, never mind. Anyway, if you bought him, I'm sure you know who he is by the way he looks. But he is this little guy that's into everything. Here he is right there. Oh, there he goes. He's also got the black white front or the black front foot. And the big ear on that side is black. Anyway, the next blue merle male is 2183. He is not sold. He is 5 pounds 6.4. He has the light blue turquoise collar on. Um, he's the guy out here oh, that's picking on these two puppies. He's running around the back. And he, there you got a, a, a glimpse of that blue collar. That'll help. Uh, the next one in here is the Ying Yang face. Blue Merle, which is... I love Yin Yang faces. This one is sold. He's down here on the left. Or I guess it's a she. Yeah, it's a she. I think she's right here in front of me. Yep. There she is. She's right there. I know you're you're being a very... I think you're potty and that's what you're doing. Now you're being too quiet. Five pounds, 4.4. 4. All right. The one that is going back on the internet is the Wheaton Party. She is the one right here. She's white with the Wheaton ears. She's got a Wheaton spot on her back. She's eating dirt, okay? Eating grass and dirt. Normal puppy activities. That's for sure. So anyway, she is going back on the website for sale this morning. And you'll see her there on the uh, top that says available. When we, uh, once you see the video, she's got the zoomie. She's going around in circles. <laughs> she says, I got to run this energy off. This is what they do in your house. If you do not let them get out and get enough activity and run it off, they need to run this. Oh, she's like, I'm stuck. I can't get out. <laughs> oh, golly. All right, uh, her microchip is 2178. Oh, they're going to play. Oh, they're back there fighting over the string ball. 
All right, the black and white female, or the black and white male, I'm sorry, there was just two females in this letter. Um, the black and white male has a red collar on, and I'm not sure, okay, he's over here. He's running around. Yep, he's the, right there. That's the black and white male. 2180, four pounds, four ounces, and he is available. And the last one in here is the party Merle, or the party right there with the brown head and the spots that are turning brown. Um, this one has the forest green collar on, 21.79, four pounds, 13.6, and he is available. There's a really good close up. There's a good face, kind of a face picture. Um, oh yeah, I chirped another all here. So that gives you an idea. There's two in here that are sold. The rest are available. So if you have any questions about these guys or are interested in them, please give me a call. Uh, they are current on their shots that they can have. Their next shot will be at nine weeks old with us if they're still here. And um, oh my, now we got the zoomies again. <coughs> You know, even if you don't have a fenced-in yard, um, if you set... Oh, that was... <laughs> I bet that hurt. Did a front roll somersault the wrong way. Uh, this is actually... This is not three pins stuck together, but I think it's one and two and a half pins. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one pin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two pins. Yeah, this is two pins with two oddball pieces that we had stuck in here together. So this makes a really nice size for them to run and play in. Um, if you don't have a fenced-in yard and you're worried <laughs> worried about getting them outside, if you have a yard that you, you know, even if you're in a uh, apartment or a condo on ground floor, you could always put a next pin up leave it sticking in your yard that way you know no other dogs have pottied in there and it gives them a place to play so we're going to have a game of tug of war i guess yeah we're going to we're kind of going to have a tug of war here a four-way tug of war on a little <laughs> this is good for them this is really good for them they needed this badly they needed this <clears throat> but they're having a really good time they are running around here like crazy uh what else can i throw at you they are on dry dog food period i don't feed them any soft food whatsoever um canned dog food is kind of like kill them with kindness i would stay away from any kind of canned so canned dog food all the soft food that's advertised that you get in the refrigerators or freezers at the the pet stores they are not nearly as good as if you give them something that's hard and crunchy, <laughs> hard and crunchy to chew on. And uh, we do a lot of raw bones. So I go to, well, we have Hereford cattle. So when we have our cows butchered, um, I always ask for all the livers because all our, our clients that buy beef from us don't ever want the livers. So I feed our dogs a lot of raw liver. Um, and I usually call up and get a hundred pounds of bones maybe every three months or so. So they are used to chewing on bones. It's great for their teeth. I don't do, bully sticks are wonderful. If you're a Costco shopper, uh, I think Costco has the best buy on bully sticks, even though they're, I think they're up to 42 bucks a bag for 12 of them, which sounds atrocious, but they're a little over 12 inches long. You can actually cut them in half and make 24 out of it. And if you price good bully sticks at a pet store, you're going to pay anywhere from 4 to $9 <clears throat> a bully stick. Um, so bully sticks are rock hard. It takes forever for them to chew through them. So they're great while they're cutting their teeth as young puppies. Um, probably a little better than the raw bones, but the raw bones give them a lot of chew time and they tear the tendons off and pull on them with their teeth and it helps to oops crash and burn so i'm so glad i'm letting you see this maniac this is what goes on in my house in the mornings so that's why we only keep like three in a kennel um because if you had all six of these in a kennel it, it would just be trashed in no time literally so this is this is a normal morning in the puppies around here 
Uh, it's just you never get to see this this early. Usually we do them in the afternoon. They're not quite this bad, but this is first thing, <laughs> first thing in the morning. So yeah, get to see it and it's all natural. Uh, so this is what you're in for. This is why you've got to run their energy off. Otherwise, they will get into all kind of crap in your house. They'll tear things apart. They'll chew on whatever they can chew on. Um, we do change toys every day with them. So they're just like kids. They get bored to death. Oh, they're making that hole. They're eating in this hole in the dirt. They're going to be so gross when they go in. What's this? Oh, yeah. Shake that dirt out of your mouth, you little stinker. Um... This is, I saw that one looking to the top of this fence. This is a 24-inch puppy pen. Do not buy a 24-inch puppy pen. Get one that is at least 36 inches tall because they're going to grow fast and you don't want them to learn to stand up and hook their feet on the top. Oh, he's gonna, she's going to tear his tail off and uh, pull themselves. Oh, she, she, he's, okay. She, she says, I've had it. Oh, she got that tail again. That's her sister. That's the two girls arguing right there. She says, oh, this is the pits. Um, but anyway, if you're going to get an X pin, get at least a 36. <clears throat> because they grow too fast. And these guys aren't too far from being able to stand and put their feet on the top rung. Oh, my golly. Um, depending on what goes on around here, it'll probably be a maybe another week before I put a new video on um, it just depends I would say another week from now we'll probably do another video I know the two girls um, the one girl goes home today the little one with the pink collar down here so she's got to go in and get a bath get her ears plucked and get it ready to rock and roll and the other female that was sold is going back on the website so um, that's about all I can think to throw at you. Crate size on these guys. I would get nothing any smaller than a 36. If you have the room for a 42, I would get a 42. Um, if you are a person that works outside the home all day, absolutely get a 42. Um, you can see this activity level, and they're going to want to play in that crate even though it'll be a quieter play than this but when you get home from work you have got to run their spin up energy off or you're going to pay for it they just need to get out and run and get it out of their system oh look at these two she's like i want up in there and you're not moving well that one's playing king of the hill nobody's coming up in here he says she says i'm coming no turned around changing her mind it is. Sometimes there gets to be one. Oh, that says, I'm going to jump around you. Oh, they're both going to pile through there. Oh, that one says, get out of my house. Nope, let it go. It was a quiet confrontation. Nope, now he's back to the king of the hill. <laughs> oh, my golly. All right, I got to go. I have people coming in here at 10 o'clock to pick up their puppy. So, um, I actually think it's a little female in here that's going home with the pink collar on. So, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you have a blessed weekend. I hope that you get out and attend a church of your choice and fill your heart with joy. Visit with other people. Do something nice for someone this week. Oh, and have a safe one. Uh, so, I hope you've enjoyed the video and watching this insanity. And we'll catch you later.